Hi everybody, welcome back to the Tax Effort channel. Today, in this video, we are going to look at how to generate a HTML report in Oracle integration and send that HTML report in email as an attachment. Very, very important when you are processing some data, you want to generate a report from that data you want to create a nice report and send that report in a email as an attachment for somebody to look at the image, how you have processed the data, how much data has been processed, how much data has been filled. So you want to prepare a complete report out of this data that you are processing in Oracle integration. So let's look at this, how to achieve the same in Oracle integration. So guys, before I proceed further, I will request everybody to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon to get regular updates. Now, what I have done here is I have a JSON data wherein I send the image URL, the first name, last name, email address, and then generate the HTML file from that data and attach the HTML file as an email attachment. Let's look at this, how this can be achieved in Oracle integration. You might be wondering, there is no way to create the HTML files, then how you have done this? So let us look at this magic. So what I have done is already, I have created, and integration and it is a rest based integration so if you look at this this is the rest adapter wherein i have configured one resource called html okay better let me first deactivate this integration and then i will show you the same that will be better to understand Okay, so I have that integration, the rest based integration. Let me open all the configuration and will show you. So here, if you see the relative resource URI is slash HTML, that can be anything. The request verb is paused and configuring the request payload just to send out the JSON data. If you look at this here, I'm just passing the image the image URL to render in HTML form, format, the first name, last name, and then email. That's what I have. That's it. That is what I have configured in this REST connection. Okay, great. And here is the magic starts. So if you look at this assign variable, I have a couple of variables which I have created to generate our HTML string. So I have one variable called BL meaning blank line, wherein I have simple this line. If you look at this, my report, so that contains this. And then I have another variable, which called, which is the report line here. Again, I have this guy. So which is nothing. This is the guy. So you can change those variable value easily. You can take those from the lookup as well. Then I have a next line. So if you want to create a next line in HTML, you have to use this BR tag. So I have created this as a variable. Then bold. If you want to make any string as a bold, you have to use this B tag, start tag, and then end tag. So this is the start tag for the bold, and this is the end tag for the bold. If you know a little bit HTML, then you will know, you will understand better. So now, this is the string, message string, which has the logic to create the HTML. So if you look at this, let me make it a little big for you. So I am using the concat function. I am using that report line variable, which is nothing, this guy. And then concatenating next line two times. So I'm using this next line variable two times just after this report line, just to have two lines space. And then I am using an image tag because I want to 
render a image so i am using the image tag and under that image tag i have a attribute called source and under that i am passing the variable post which i will take as a input from my rest api just to render and after this i am again using the next line variable two time just to have more lines the extra line and then here i am using the bold just to make this first name as a bold so you can use any other tag as well like if you want to make it red green blue so you can use corresponding tags and then you can see the hard coded first name and then the first name variable and then again next line next line and then making again i'm making last name my bold and okay one more thing if you see bold first name and then making a bold and here just to only make first name bold not the value okay so i'm repeating the same step for first name last name and then email address so this string which will will have the string the html string now what next now here i am using the stage file action so if you know the stage file action it has few options to create a file like csv xml json but there is no option to html then how did how i have achieved this so let's see this magic here you can see the file operation is file right file and you can see the file name i have given the name as report.html the extension is html itself and the path wherein i am writing this file and then i am using that csv and uploading a sample report.csv file which contains one header called report and simple data as a row so i have a simple csv file let me show you that as well uh where it is okay here it is so if you see so this is my csv file which contains report and then data very simple let's go back so okay let me cancel this and here is my mapping so it is very simple what i did i simply mapped the message variable to this report variable if you look at this and then whatever file will be written like the report.html and all the data will go into the file itself okay so that will generate the report.html and you see i am using the from to subject body and whatever response i am getting from the right file response i am using that file reference that's it let us test it and see how this will work now so i am going to activate this integration and going to test it so again just to remind you guys please subscribe to my channel and click on a bell icon to get regular updates don't forget it now let me act, test this integration and let's look at this so i have an image so i already have this data pre-populated because i have tested it earlier also so you can see the image url then the first name email and then last name let us test it test now you can see the integration is completed successfully let me open my email and show the report.html should be attached to it you can see the email i have received zero minutes ago you can see please find attached the report and report attached and if you open this you can see the same report the same data has been rendered as a html so guys this is how you can achieve this in oracle integration i hope you like this video if yes please like comment and share and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel to get regular updates you can follow me over linkedin twitter pinterest instagram
Facebook. You can always see my blogs, https colon slash slash Thanks for watching the video. Have a good day. Bye-bye.